Good morning, fabulous fourth grade. Today is April 22nd, 2020, and it is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Earth Day. Yes, today's Earth Day, but it's a wonderful Wednesday. All right, so I'm going to continue with online learning in our virtual classroom. I'm going to share the screen. All right. Again, it is Earth Day, April 22nd. Um, make sure that you are, if you're outside and you see um, any paper in your yard, pick it up. If you see plastic bottles that need to be um, thrown away, try to start recycling. Um, but above all, um, while we're taking care of Earth, we still need to take care of ourselves and practice good hygiene and good habits, especially with the coronavirus. All right, so again, it is April 22nd. It's a wonderful Wednesday. We're gonna continue learning about biodiversity. Our learning goal, my turn, your turn. I can identify the components of an ecosystem and identify and explain each level of an energy pyramid. One more time, I can identify the components of an ecosystem and identify and explain each level of an energy pyramid. All right, so what is biodiversity? Well, it is the variety of life in the world or in a particular habitat or ecosystem. An ecosystem is all of the living and non-living parts of an environment. So the living would be called the biotic factors or the biotic parts and the non-living would be the abiotic or the abiotic parts, all right? And then what is an environment? An environment is all of the living, non-living things around an organism. More than one of the same type of organism is a population. So a population, we said that um, it's one organism, but it's more than one of the same kind of organism. And a community would be two populations. Um, so a population, again, a whole lot of deer maybe, and then a whole lot of bobcats. And then an ecosystem would be all of the living and non-living things and, and, and their tongues. <laughs> all right, so last week we learned that um, plants make their own energy source, glucose, through photosynthesis. So what about animals? How do animals get energy? And that is our guiding question. So we're going to continue to investigate in Google Classroom. All right, so if you are in Michigan, Michigan will be the one that pops up for you. And you will go to Classwork tab. From the Classwork tab, you will look for the biodiversity topic and today's date. If you are in Chicago State University, you will go to the Classwork tab. From there, biodiversity and the today's date, Earth Day. Earth Day, yay, we love Earth Day. Earth Day is amazing. All right, and then if you are in Indy, Notre Dame, Classwork tab and today's date. So I'll just work from Notre Dame today. I'm going to click the stream and then the new assignment, go to the instructions if you don't already get pulled up for the instruction. And first thing we're going to do, we always start out with our fab vocab. We're going to go to ecosystems week one, you know, week two will be up um, next week. And then we'll start with our fab vocab. Our first word, my turn, ecosystems, your turn, ecosystem. So an ecosystem is the living and non-living parts of the environment in a specific area. Ecosystems can be really small or really large. So what does this mean? What does this look like? This looks like a puddle of water outside with different types of microorganisms floating around in it, different types of bacteria, floating around in the puddle of water. That's a very small ecosystem. A large ecosystem could be planet Earth. Another ecosystem could be the Sahara. 
Another could be the Amazon rainforest. Another could be the deciduous forest, Memphis, Tennessee. Another could be a coniferous forest, a tundra, a tiger. All of these are different ecosystems and they have different organisms in them. So here is a closer view of an ecosystem. This is an ecosystem. This is an ecosystem. All right, and then our next vocabulary word is environment. Everything, all the living and non-living things that surround just an organism. That's its environment. So this would be the organisms and all of this is its environment. Or this could be the organism and all of this is its environment. Or this lily pad could be the organism and all of this is its environment. So it's just the organisms and everything around it. Our next term is producer. My term producer, your term, producer. A producer is an organism that makes or produces its own food through photosynthesis. Plants are producers. Plants are producers. Uh, the cactus that we talked about, the trees that we talked about, um, grass, and my favorite little tulip, tula, all producers. Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a process used by plants and other autotrophs to capture light and energy and use it, sunlight energy, and use it to power chemical reactions that convert carbon dioxide and water into oxygen and energy-rich carbohydrates such as sugars and starch, which is glucose. Consumer. A consumer is an organism that must eat or consume plants or animals or food. And these are consumers. Herbivore. Herbivore. It's an organism that only eats plants. Some people say that they're herbivores because they're vegetarians. They are not. They are omnivores. Um, biologically and genetically, um, humans are omnivores. We need nutrients from plants and we need nutrients from animals. And then omnivores, an organism that eats both plants and animals. That's me, mm, 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 that's me, okay, that's me. Carnivore, so a carnivore is an organism that only eats meat, other animals. My cats, they're carnivores, they eat rodents, they eat tuna, they eat meat. Um, a shark is a carnivore. It eats other little fish, and sometimes they may eat other sharks. Decomposer. So a decomposer breaks down dead plants and animals, and then that returns their um, decomposed matter to the soil as nutrients. So um, decomposers can be like mushroom, maggots, flies, earthworms, slugs. All of those are decomposers. They break down dead and decaying matter. Habitat. Habitat. So a habitat is an environment that provides the things a specific organism needs to live, grow, and reproduce. Remember, we talked about habitats with the 2K geckos um, before the break. So a habitat needs to be safe. They need to be able to sleep there. They need to be able to hibernate if they hibernate. They need to be able to have their young there. They need to be able to find food there and water. So it's a safe place for them to live, grow, and reproduce. Um, food chain. We talked about food chain with our energy pyramid uh, with the producers being at the bottom and then the primary consumers, the secondary consumers, uh, the tertiary consumers. And then sometimes you may have another um, level of consumers, but more than often you have the scavengers and the decomposers. Uh, so it's a community of organisms where each member is eaten in turn by another member. And then the last is a food web, and it's a community of organisms where there are several interrelated food chains. So you may have one organism that eats another organism. You may have one person that consumes um, primary, um, that consumes plants, 
um, you may have another person or another organism that consumes um, another animal. So that is a food waste. All right, so now that we finish our fab vocab, go back to sharing the screen. We're going to go to Google Classroom and back in Google Classroom. I'm going to close out our fab vocab. There we go. Um, so the next thing we were supposed to do was to watch the Brain Pop video. And um, the brain pop video, I'm going to go in and I'm going to put the username and password so that you can watch the video. And the video is not long. It's the energy pyramid. Um, you'll put in this username and brain pop. And I'll just put that in the instructions and you won't do the quiz. However, you'll go back to Google Classroom and you'll click uh, the Biodiversity Wednesday. These are your thinking questions based off of the video. Here are three questions, one, two, and three. And you'll answer those questions inside of the Google Doc. And then from there, you'll go back in and you will uh, log into uh, ReadWorks. I made the um, assignment available for you. So you'll just click the link but you'll sign in with your uh, Google student account. And so um, I'm already signed in and it's not a long passage, um, but you'll do the vocabulary and the question. There are only, only two vocabularies. After you do the vocabulary, um, interact and nutrients. After you do the vocabulary words, you'll do the question set, there's nutrients. Um, you'll do the question set, make sure that you answer all of the questions, including the thinking questions. And then after you do the thinking questions, press submit. Okay. And then from there, log into Legends of Learning. Legends of Learning, again, I still want you to um, play the, the game. And the game is, uh, it's not hard. You don't have to sign up for a new account because you already have an account. Um, click student and teacher login and from there um, you'll sign in with Google student login you're gonna play now um, you're gonna click the purple you're gonna play the teachers playlist and mine I'll type it in um, in the classroom I'll type it in in the classroom and from there um, you're going to log in purple login and then you'll log in with Google. All right. So let's do a real quick recap. You'll do the ecosystem um, week one flashcards two times and I didn't play the match game today. Um, but I want you to play the match game. Um, try to play it two times. I played it earlier, um, but I want you to play it two times. And then from there, I want you to watch the, the brain pop video and then answer your thinking questions. After you answer your thinking questions, I've assigned the eco pyramid. And then from there, you can play the game um, Legends of Learning. All right. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Your teachers are available from nine o'clock to three o'clock. You, you can email us, you can send a message on Dojo, you can send a message in Classroom. If you send a message in Google Classroom, make sure it's under today's topic so that I'll know where to find the question. Um, make sure that you're logging into Compass Learning daily and also make sure that you're completing your assignments in Zern. That's pretty much it. Get outside, enjoy today, it is Earth Day. Um, and then just have a great day, promise. Bye.